Amaterasu. If we're talking laning phase, B+. Alma's laning phase is pretty bad up until the later stages of the game and when she finishes boots. She doesn't have the worst laning experience in solo, but it's not good. However, what makes up for that is you will snowball very hard if you get ahead. As well as this, is your late game? Very good. Oh my gosh, your late game as a Matarasu is your saving grace. Your late game is disgusting. You are the definition of a teamfight god. You will lose lane, but you will win the fucking game. Now, AMC. I'd say A tier. He can get ganked. Ganking solo is back in the meta. It's the weakened camp cyclone meta, whatever. It's pretty good. AMC, it's not like, that's not the meta, but whatever. You know, it's, it's more viable than it used to be. At least early on. AMC is alright in solo. Um, he can stomp. He can pub stomp really hard. He does very well from ahead. So you, you're going to be looking at that for solo if you want something. We're going to move him to B+, plus actually, because he's the B. No, but actually I'm moving him to B+, plus just because if you're playing AMC solo, you need to win. You need to win lane. Because if you are if you only have the one front line and that's your tank, or that's your uh, support, bad time. Agni. I would say B+, plus as well. He's not your warrior, but he's alright. On her, pretty much all the hunters are going to be B+, plus, except for Apollo. He's probably A. Arachne, B. You can do it. It's not good. You can do it, though. Same with Alquang. You can do it. Anubis, C. Um, Afro, C, D. Afro loses lane to everyone. Afro will not win lane. Afro will not do anything. Athena is going to be A, maybe A minus, but. Actually, we're going to move Athena to A plus because Athena has her ultimate, she has her taunt, she has her three. If you're behind, Athena still does Athena things. So you can lose lane, and you will, and you can feed your brains out, but as long as you've got your Defender of Olympus and your taunt, you're good. Um, none of these guys are really that good. Bacchus, eh, you can do it. Baka is B+, plus, I would say. Bologna, she's up there with Ama. Very good. Um, Bastet, no. Cabracken, I don't know. I haven't practiced much of Cabracken, honestly. I've played like two or three games with him, but I'd say he's about A tier. Chuck is B tier. Now, you might be confused. Because like I said, Chuck wins lane. That's what he does. But when it hits the late game, all Chuck has to say after that game was, I won lane. Whatever. Chuck doesn't do much late game. He's got a slow, and he's got a big silence. He's not that good. You can argue that he's B+, plus. you can argue that he's B, you can argue that he's C. I'm gonna put him in B, but that's me. Chunga, don't play Chunga. Healers, don't, don't play healers right now. Don't do it. Sorry, my throat's a little dry. I've been talking for a while. Uh, Kronos. Um, if you play Duel, you know Kronos is like the best 1v1 god in the game. Or one of the best. He's not the best, but he's very good. Uh, solo lane is no different. He is very good in 1v1s in solo. However, if he gets ganked, he's a little screwed. Not having a dash, not having a leap will hurt. And if you're playing solo, you know that... Eight seconds ago, you're not going to rewind and you'll, you'll be back at your tower. You're going to rewind and you'll be right where you were because you're standing at their tower line pressuring them out. So, you're not really looking to play Kronos and Solo. You can do it, but it's not great. Freya, Freya doesn't clear the wave. That's it. Solo lane is about the early game right now. It's either about early game or it's about team fighting. Freya doesn't have much of either. She's got good team fight, but it's mainly one target, one target, one target, one target. Guan Yu. Guan Yu, my lord. Guan Yu is very good. Guan Yu will lose lane. 
Do not try to win the lane with Guan Yu. You will feed. Guan Yu will not lose lane. Or he will not win lane. Guan Yu will go even in lane, and Guan Yu will lose the lane with dignity. Guan Yu will not be a thousand gold behind, maybe two or three, maybe four or five hundred gold behind. But, it doesn't stop him from using his cavalry charge and stunning your entire team, using his Taolu Assault and shredding all the protections of your Scylla, so that everyone can just fucking one-shot her like she one-shots your entire fucking team. Guan Yu can still use his two for the fucking slow, he can still use his one for the two, three second cooldown on a 200 healing ability. Guan Yu is very good. You will play Guan Yu a lot, but you will lose lane. That's the thing, though. You lose lane with dignity and with grace. You do not lose lane by feeding. Hades. B+. Hades doesn't do much outside of his ultimate, because he's building half tanky, half protection, or er, half tanky, half power. It's not that good anymore on a mage. Season 2 was very good because tank items and pen items were bloated. Bloated. Bologna. So, um, yeah. Not that great anymore. You can do it, but... Hercules, same thing. Hercules is very predictable. If you're a new player and you're watching this video to learn how to play solo lane, or watching this series to learn how to play solo lane, you will probably die a lot to Hercules. Hercules is a raid boss, that's what he does. His 3 gives him 95% healing for all the damage that you do to him while it's active. So if you, if he's at full health, and he gets hit with a max rank Scylla and it does 1000 damage, he will heal up 950 of that damage over just a few seconds, because of the way that his 3 works. So you... You can't burst him down, because he's, he's going to be building full defense. You can't sustain him down because of his 3. And really, you just kind of got him CC him, have a tier, push him out of the fight, or ignore him. That's, that's what you do against Hercules, that's it. You ignore him. <coughs> <coughs> Hubwa. Don't play Hubwa. Don't do it. Ho Yi. I'm not even going to rank him. Um, Isis is B. Isis can do well. If you're playing against, um, Guan Yu, especially Guan Yu, you will destroy lane. He will not lose lane with dignity. You will... You won't get many kills, but what you will do is you'll push so many minions under Guan Yu's tower, because he can't full clear the wave until he gets boots. You'll push so many minions under his tower, that he's going to lose so many, so much gold, he'll be like a thousand gold, sometimes 1500 gold behind by 15-20 minutes. Very bad for Guan Yu. Isis, so she's in B tier because she's very situational. Kali. You can do it. I've seen it done and I've done it. Oh, you can... Oh my god. Wait. Hold on. anyone else see that i put her in the middle did i yeah you can play kali solo you can do it but you will probably die you'll probably die a lot and your team will probably bm you a lot kukukan same thing kumba a tier right kumba still does kumba things in team fights kumba will be obnoxious kumba will mez you for 47,000 years kumba will ult you for 47,000 years Kumba's still Kumba. You won't full clear the wave until you get boots and a few points into your one, but you'll basically one hit it at that point. Loki. I don't even want to put Loki on this list. Honestly, I want to put him in between B and C. Right? Please? I'm gonna put him in. Come on. Is it like. Alright, we'll figure it out. But either way. Loki is in between B and C, whether or not I can put it. There we go. Loki is in between B and C. Reason why. Loki will feed. Loki will not win lane. Loki can one-hit the wave after he gets a few stacks of Transcendence, which is the first item you'll be rushing. But you'll be facing, you'll be fighting 4v5 team fights. Not in your favor. Because what Loki will do is he'll either run in, 
Stealth stealth in so that they don't see him. Ult a squishy. Not stealth out because it's down. He'll probably kill the squishy and he'll get out. But then he is not on the other side of the map split pushing like Lokis should be doing off in their own little corner of the world split pushing. You will build full pen on Loki. You'll get Crusher, you will get Jotuns, you'll get Titans. If you do not build full pen on Loki with Transcendence and Boots and split push, then fuck you. If you play Loki, fuck you. But that's what you do as Loki. If you really want to play him solo, that's what you will do. You will split push. You probably, you'll either, there's two choices. You'll ult one squishy and kill them and get away. Or you will split push. You cannot do both, really. You can't do both in the same fight, at least. Um, Odin. Odin, Odin, Odin. Odin is A tier, I would say. Maybe A plus. A plus or A. We'll put him in between. So, Odin. Why is Odin good? Why is Odin bad? Odin is good because he has his ring. Odin is good because of his bird bomb, which still does a lot of damage late game if you have penetration. But, Odin is bad because he is predictable like Hercules. You see a Hercules walking up to you, looking and turning and pivoting and waiting so he can hit that 2 into the 1 into the wall and you're dead at level 2? Odin is the same way. You'll see Odin walking up, he'll have his shield up, he'll be holding his big ol' fucking spear, swinging it. He'll have his shield, he'll be waiting to jump, you'll see the little circle under you, and you'll walk away. Odin won't hit you with very many bird bombs. If you get hit with an Odin bird bomb, you did something wrong. Or you were CC'd. But Odin will miss his bird bomb. Odin is not very good outside of his ultimate, but in his ultimate, he is a fucking monster. So, pick Odin when you have the right team comp. Pick Odin when you have Zeus, Vulcan, um, Nox, um, who else does very well with Odin? Poseidon, Cupid, Hoagie, stuff like that. Big circle ults do very well with Odin. That's about it, though. Osiris. People, what the fuck? Okay, people don't realize Osiris is very good. Osiris is very good in the solo lane. Osiris has very good clear. Osiris does very good damage. Osiris is just very good. He has he has got like a what is it like a forty percent slow if you use his two and his one, and then if you get frostbound, it's like a sixty percent slow. Like Osiris, people don't like Osiris. It feels like you're not doing much, but you're doing so fucking much on Osiris. Osiris is so fucking good. He gets a shit ton of damage mitigation using his three with his tethers, and he has a shit ton of damage mitigation using his passive. Osiris also has 100% anti-healing on his ult, so when you ult someone and you see the little ghost above their head, they cannot heal anything. It doesn't matter if an ally heals them, if it's a health pot, if they use an ability. If it's the fountain, nothing. They will not get healed if you Osiris ult. Very good when you have people like Guan Yu prevalent in the meta. Um, who else is very good in solo? Robin. I hate Robin. I don't like playing him and I don't like playing against him. Robin will win lane. Just like Osiris, Robin will win lane and there is nothing you can do about it. You will never be able to beat a good Robin in lane. Robin is a lane bully. That is what he'll do. He will slow you. He will stun you. Or, uh, not stun you. He will slow you. He will root you. He will immune all your damage. And then he will jump on you and reduce all the incoming damage from everyone else. All your teammates will do no damage to him. Well, very little damage to him. And that's it. Sobek. Sobek is okay. I'm going to put him in between A and B+, plus because Sobek is okay. He's very okay. You won't clear the wave. You will not, so just accept that. You won't clear the wave. Um, you have anti-heal, which is good. You have your pluck, which is good. And you have your ultimate, which is very good. You use a shit ton of mana, though. And you don't have a lot of kill potential on your own. But if you reach that team fighting stage, Sobek is very good. Very, very good. Alright, Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong is okay. He's okay. I'll say he's A tier, right? Sun Wukong has long-ranged free free poke plus um clear. Sun Wukong has a lot of sustain with his ultimate, 
Sun Wukong has a lack of peel. <coughs> um, now, some of you guys are thinking, what the fuck? He does not. But, listen. His slow is, I think, 20% on his two. He can stun one person in a fight. He will not peel for your team. He can stun or he can knock up. He can either knock up a few people or stun one person. Anyone competent can dodge his stun <coughs> and his knockup. But if you're against lower elo or lower levels, Sun Wukong is very good. Sun Wukong is also very good because of his ultimate. Sun Wukong is also very good because you can build Transcendence, Yotans, and Titans and get away with it because of your ultimate and your passive. Sun Wukong does a lot of damage and he has very good setup, but he doesn't have that peel and that incredible team fight presence like your Bolonas, your Guan Yus, your Athenas, Amaterasu's, stuff like that. So he's okay. You can do well. <coughs> you will carry from ahead. But it's getting ahead that's hard. What else is very good in solo? Tier. If Tier is not banned or picked already, you will play Tier. Tier is very good. Tier is like top solo laner, like one of the top solo laners. Tyr will go even in lane and he will win lane. He doesn't really lose lane unless it's like Bologna. But even then you can still fearless her out of her bludgeon and do a lot of damage at level 1 or 2. <coughs> so Tyr is very good. You'll want to play Tyr a lot. He has a lot of protections, he has a lot of kill potential, he has a lot of CC, he has a lot of setup, he has a lot of peel, he has a good, really good engage. If you get blink it's even better engage. Tyr is very good. Period. He has incredible sustain as well. His sustain is crazy. It's very good. Vamana. Vamana is like right here for me. Vamana is good. I like Vamana. He, Vamana does a lot of damage. Vamana can clear the wave at level 2 with his 3 and his 2 and bluestone. Full clear it. Two abilities. Level 2. Vamana is very good. He has an incredible team fight presence with this slow of movement speed and attack speed on his three. If you can hit it, that's the tricky part. If you can hit it, he has he scares everyone. And when he is in the big baby, the colossal rage, he does a shit ton more damage. He has a shit ton more protections. And the more you hit him, the more he heals. If if you see a Vamana go into his baby rage, run away. Just spread out. Don't let him deal damage. Don't let him take damage. Don't try to burst him down unless he's at low health. That's just how you play against Vamana. He can stop a team fight in its tracks for a few seconds. That's why you pick Vamana. Uh, Xing Chen, B tier. He won't clear lane. Uh, he won't clear lane. He'll lose lane, and he doesn't have enough of a team fight presence to make up for. So we're actually going to put him in C tier. Ymir, probably B tier. I'd say, I mean, he does okay in lane, and he can carry games, and he can do very well, but he can also fall very far behind. Without blue buff, Ymir runs out of mana like a fucking... It's, like, two or three abilities, and that's most of your mana gone. Like, that's how you play Ymir. That's it. Now, finally, Zhongkui. Zhongkui is alright, in my opinion. He's okay. Um, you can play him situationally, but if you're down a front line in the, in the late game, your team is going to flame you, you're not going to be able to win because you don't have a front line, you basically need to close out early, which isn't very good because Jean Kui needs to get ahead early, because he's a late game god, and it doesn't work well, and it's very unreliable, but he is very good. Um... I think that should be it for your solo lane gods. I don't think I missed anyone. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I really missed any solo laners. But this is the gist of what you'll be wanting to play in solo. There's some exceptions. There's more. There's less. You give or take. But in general, this is what you're going to be picking from. So here's your tier list, in my opinion at least. This is for this is not for a high level of play. This is for a low to mid level play. So this is from bronze to like 
low plat, mid high gold ish ish. That's what this is for. Also for those pre thirty. If you're pre-30, welcome to Smite. Hello, I'm sorry that you're in such a shitty meta to start in right now, and I'm sorry that it's going through a lot of problems with at least ranked, but um, Smite's very good and I hope you stay. So, um, Anyways, if you made it to the end of this video, drop a like, leave a comment, um, give me feedback. I want to know, are these, are these helpful? Do you have any suggestions? Um, opinions? I will be putting out gameplay videos. Probably of Ama, Amaterasu first. Um, probably just going A through Z solo laners. But yeah, so um, this is just gonna be the first video of the series. It's just um, a tier list with builds and general info. So I might split this into two videos. I don't know. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like if you like the video. Comment if you have your if you have your own opinions. Please, I love reading comments. I absolutely love reading comments on my videos. I don't know why. I like it. I will respond to your comment. I will respond to every single comment. But yeah. So if you liked it, like it. Uh, give me feedback. Talk to me. Call me a piece of shit. Um, whatever. Um, subscribe if you want. Uh, anyways, so I've said the same thing as like four times there. So I have a problem cl closing out videos. Okay. So. Um, that's it for the first video of solo lane tutorials. Um, here's what you want to be picking. Uh, take a screenshot, Imgur, whatever. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope t I see you guys next weekend. Or next week. Um, add me in Smite. <laughs> add me in Smite, play with me sometime. I, I do, um, I do, uh, Smite coaching. So if you want to get better at, uh, my, my top roles are solo, mid, jungle ADC support last I'll, I'll do coaching on any of those for like five ten bucks an hour one-on-one -on -one coaching so if you want to, if you're interested in that shoot me a message here on YouTube or on deity dot or deity gg .com. that's my org's name yes I'm on a team Ooh. so shoot me a message on there um, or shoot me a message in smite or on Twitter at sarlacc fang smite I'll put a um annotation with a link or whatever so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time peace out